up next, an experiment to see how much the number on the scale affects you. How much do you think you weigh? All right, I'm not looking. Okay, okay, I'll look. You're not serious. <laughs> how does it make you feel? I'm mad at myself. I wanted to see if a few pounds either way would really make it change in a woman's day. So we set up a little experiment, and we had to tip the scales. I feel bad about what we did. <laughs> we tip the scales literally. Check it out. For this social experiment, we adjusted our scale backwards and forwards by five pounds, so our subjects each think they actually lost and gain some weight. Meet our subjects, Paola and Jennifer. I'm not really nervous because I am a teacher and I walk all day long. I'm really nervous about the weighing because this summer I ate a lot. To weigh in our guest, we teamed up with celebrity fitness expert Ashley Borden for this experiment. How much do you think you weigh? Around 137, I guess. 137, okay. And when was the last time you weighed yourself? Six months ago. Okay. I think I weigh 100 pounds. 100 pounds, okay. Let's step on the scale and see what you weigh. All right, I'm not looking. Okay, okay, I'll look. 153. Oh my, I'm so upset. Oh man. Okay, okay great, let's jump on. 89. You're not serious. <laughs> um, how does it make you feel? I don't know, I mean, it's kind of hard. I'm excited and kind of shocked because I seriously did not think I was 89 pounds. I can't believe I gained so much weight like that. I'm mad at myself. To see just how much Jennifer's weight loss and Paola's weight gain affected them, we decided to really test the waters. What better way to do that than by taking a girl shopping? For this part of the experiment, we joined forces with fashion designer Paige Adams Geller, our other expert in our experiment. Before we arrived at the store, Paige changed the tags to some of her designer jeans and tops with both smaller and larger sizes. It was unbelievable to see how their worlds were affected simply by changing a number. What are you doing? They can't get them on at all, okay. So you're not, oh, I'm sorry. I feel so bad. You're not a 6'8", and I feel really bad. Oh my god, yeah, the shirt is big. <laughs> I'm standing it. on I you. Know. Oh my god. How does it make you feel, though? Um, it makes me feel tiny. Oh, look at your face. <laughs> She's like glowing. Hey, sweetie, I got the, I've got the size 10 for you. And I, you know, I don't even worry about the number, though. All my pants are a 6. All your pants are size 6. That's so, so like weird. more upsetting that now I'm a 10. Can you believe that the size three is actually too big on you? I really can't. Every other pair of jeans I own are a three. I honestly think you're more of like a size 10 mm -hmm. instead of a six eight. Okay. I'm comfortable the way I am, so it's kind of weird. Let me see the pants. They fit you perfect. Perfect. I, right I am so much more confident than you I was this morning. Yay. That number. You know, it's a number. Going, yeah. How are you going to feel when you go home? What are you going to do tonight? Definitely have a light dinner. Maybe you put more makeup on and go out tonight for a fun night out. So, that's really affecting you. Yeah. The number on the scale, the number in the no, shirts, the clothes too, in the so, clothes. Um, I'm fine. I'm fine. Having smaller clothes is definitely, definitely making me feel um, through the roof right now. It's too many things for one day. <laughs> Paola and Jennifer still have absolutely no idea that we rigged the scales in their clothes just a little slightly. So we're gonna meet them now, and we're gonna just act normal, okay? <laughs> Paola and Jennifer, come on out. What did you do um, last night? I went straight home and ate two grilled cheese sandwiches. That's what I did. <laughs> really? Yes. Because you said, what the hell? You said, what the hell? I'm gaining right. all this weight. I might as well just keep shoveling it. OK, here's <laughs> Jennifer. Jennifer had quite a different story. Yes, You were a lot lighter than you thought. I was. And, and how did you feel about that? You seemed really happy. Uh, <laughs> it was a mixed reaction. I was kind of happy because I did lose, I thought. But also, I was like, I might be a little too skinny now. So I yeah. went home, and I ate a hamburger. Oh, <laughs> so you ate, too. All right. Well, I have to tell you guys something. OK. We did something very tricky, and we fixed the scales. We made yours heavier. 
So you're telling me I was crying in actual <laughs> Huey? For nothing. And we made yours lighter. Okay. <laughs> Another thing. Not only did we switch the scales, we switched the sizes in the jeans and all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, here we are, joining us here are the co-authors of Your Perfect Fit, celebrity trainer Ashley Borden, which we met in our fashion designer Paige. <laughs> What do you have to say about women and sizes? Sizes do not matter. There's no such thing as universal sizing in clothes. So when I was a fit model, I would be a fit model for one designer and be a size four. I'd work, I'd be the same measurements, work for another model, be a size six. I would work for another designer and be mm -hmm. a size six. I'd be a size eight for somebody else. I'd be us all the same day with the same measurements because a, a, a designer bases its sizing on who their demographic is and who they think their customer is. Mm -hmm. So there is no set standard. And there are some designers that make sizes smaller just to make us feel better about ourselves yeah. when we mm -hmm. shop. And just, that's called vanity sizing. That's called vanity sizing. It's true. Everybody's like, woo, we like those yeah. designers. Yeah. Tell us about a few pounds and how women are freaking out. You know, your weight can fluctuate within one day from two to five pounds, depending on your sodium intake, depending on if you poop, depending <laughs> on... I mean, you know, in the morning, try getting on the scale and then taking a poop, getting back on the scale again. But it, it makes, it, it it makes a change. difference. It does and make a difference. And people don't, you know, it's why people who weigh themselves can uh, constantly throughout the day or every day, you're just setting yourself up for crazy for failure. failure. Yeah. And then what about like um, weight versus measuring? Measurements are the most accurate way, I feel, of seeing what's going on with your body. Mm -hmm. Because if you're, if you're measuring about 10 different places, your arms, your neck, your chest, your hips, your tummy, your legs, you can track what's going on. If you are gaining weight in your tummy, usually it means that it might be sodium, it might be too much water weight or retention. Oh, so about the measuring tape, Measu not the yes. scale Yes, and so then you're much. not so connected to that one number that you're gonna live or die from. So, my two ladies here, do you feel differently about weight now? What do you think this experiment taught you? I have to see how I feel and go by that instead of then for a stupid number. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, that's mm -hmm. the case. What about you, same thing? I'm just gonna go home and throw my scale out. It's not about that number, it's what's in here there that matters. There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right, we'll be right back.